Logan and Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can add additional information, additional description to people web part. Uh, let me uh, tell you what I'm talking about. So I actually did a video previously on uh, people web part. It's uh, one of my favorite web parts. Here it is. Uh, it allows you to list um, your team members, essentially who to contact um, if you're on a given SharePoint site. All right, and if you hover over, you know, the uh, the name of the individual, you get to see some additional information, the emails and uh, the, the phone numbers and all this other information about a, a user. Uh, all of this information comes from your Active Directory, from Office 365 User Directory. And so it is the same information you have in Delft as well. All right, um, so you cannot really you know, change any information over here. Obviously, that's a part of your employee um, user directory. Uh, there are ways to alter some of this information uh, behind the scenes, uh, as well as in Delft. Uh, but um, what I'm going to talk about is this. Uh, let's just say uh, I have this, you know, HR employee site or any other type of uh, kind of site you might have. And you want to list all the team members, but you also want to provide some additional information about a particular individual. All right, maybe maybe yeah, what their you know hobbies are, and maybe what they specialize in, what they should be contacted for, etc. We can actually do that. Let me explain to you how. So uh, let me edit the page. And by the way, in case if you are wondering, you know how I added this web part, all you need to do is just click the plus sign and click people, you know, right here, people web part over here. I already have it. So uh, let's go ahead and modify the existing one. Once you add uh, the web part. It will essentially look like this. This is where you can list, um, you know, essentially everyone you want to list. All right, and this is how it looks. Now, in order for us to add additional information about uh, each and every user, what you need to do is click this little pencil icon. And uh, by default, it shows us the compact layout. We need to change it to descriptive. And this way you get a little bit more information over here. Uh, let's actually, Let's move it over here. Uh, so we have a little bit more real estate. Uh, let me just add a column over here. So I think it's going to look much better if I move it over here. Perfect. So essentially, this is how it will look like. You, you obviously have additional information. And if you notice over here, if you notice over here, we have this few fields. All right, so again, the name and the photo and the title and everything, right, has been pulled from uh, Active Directory. but this two right here, they can be customized and they can be customized per site. So for example, in this case, Mary, I'm on the HR site, right? I want, you know, Mary, I want everyone to know that Mary should be contacted just for, you know, if they, if someone has questions on benefits. So that's exactly what we can do here. We can just start typing the text in. If you have questions on benefits, email me or something, all right? Again, you can expand. Um, you do have, I guess, uh, 255 characters here. So you can obviously have a small paragraph of text. Um, so that's one thing you can do here. And then you can also uh, add a link, all right? It's it just a link. It could be anything, maybe Mary's Facebook profile, LinkedIn profile, essentially just a link that you can insert. Um, uh, and uh, I guess LinkedIn would probably make sense, right? Uh, and essentially, it would just add a clickable link uh, to, uh, you know, to the profile. And let me, in my case, let me just uh, do something like this. All right, and uh, uh, my profile. All right, here's the text. Let's just see how it looks. Here we go. And that's exactly what you see is what you get. And essentially, you can customize it, right? And this information is not really saved anywhere other than this site. All right, so if Mary happens to be part of another team site and you know, you can add Mary's, you know, um, uh, information on that other site and customize it there as well. All right. So this information is kind of local to this site. Let's go ahead and publish it just to see how it looks like. All right. So here it is. Uh, and this is exactly how it looks like. And again, you know, here is my link to the profile. And then here's the additional information uh, for, you know, you can uh, uh, specify uh, for each and every user. So a nice little trick, in my opinion, it just um, uh, makes it uh, a little bit more user-friendly to you and users, a nice trick to use if you have a communication site, right? If you have a large corporation, maybe a large organization and uh, uh, and have maybe several people working uh, on this in the same department. If I'm new to the organization, right, I would know exactly who to contact 
um, you know, uh, a, for a particular matter or something, all right? Or maybe what my or the role on the project is, uh, all right? So um, that's all I wanted to cover today. Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.